Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven was a robot. Hey YouTube, I'm Steve and this is the Voodoo Paradox. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about nanotechnology. Uh, so uh, what is nanotechnology? Well, nanotechnology is technology that's executed on a, on a really small scale. And I'm, I mean like really small, like like you take a piece of paper, if you cut that piece of paper into about a hundred thousand, hundred thousand pieces, like crosswise, so it's even thinner than it was to begin with, that's that's about a nanometer. So uh, what we're talking about is a billionth of a meter. So what does that mean exactly? Well, nobody's really sure what that means. You see, the technology is in its infancy, and things just behave differently when you get down that small. If you go on the internet and look, some people are talking about using nanobots to deliver medicine straight to cancerous cells, and some of them are talking about using nanobots to build faster computer chips, um, but that's really just the surface of what you could do with it. Uh, first, we might be able to fix everything that, that afflicts the human body. Um, it, a bacterium, an E. coli bacterium, is only uh, 2,000 nanometers long. White blood cells can be anywhere from 10,000 to 80,000 nanometers across. That's on a scale many times larger than the goals of nanotechnology. Can you imagine thousands or even millions of microscopic robots coursing through your body whose sole purpose is to uh, make you healthier? Finally, a cure for the common cold. What took you so long, science? High cholesterol, arthritis, cancer, pew, pew, pew. Even aging might be reversible. There's benefits for machinery too. I mean, you could take some basic materials and build the more complex materials just from scratch. Nanotechnology doesn't just talk about the little tiny robots either. Um, there's also structures that can be built on the nanoscopic uh, level. Uh, some, some of them are called nanotubes, and uh, they're, they're super light and super strong. This technology could use, be used to build stronger metals, um, repair hairline fractures in like super critical situations like on bridges, they could be constantly roving over the surface of a bridge, inspecting it, and constantly repairing it. So we never have another bridge collapse on us again. Cars might be able to run forever without repair. The nanobots would constantly uh, maintain your vehicle for you. I mean, they could even possibly um, filter the air to draw materials out of the air to burn for energy, to use as fuel for your, for your vehicle. So you would never have to pay for gas again. Kind of like a giant metal fish. We could clean up our air, our waterways, uh, take toxic waste could be dealt with in a better way. So it, it sounds like a utopia, right? A, a land of milk and honey. Well, again, nobody knows for sure. There's a bad side to nanotechnology also. In the construction of nanotechnologies, one of the byproducts could be nanoparticles, which when inhaled could affect us just like asbestos does, scarring our lungs. Also the power to synthesize raw materials. You could synthesize diamonds or gold or, and it would basically destroy the world economy. Nuclear weapons. Uh, I, I, I don't know even what the implications for nuclear weapons would be. And what about human longevity? I mean, we, we'd basically be living for longer if not forever. Um, we would basically be immortal. I mean, theoretically. Uh, what would happen to the human population? And, you know, as long as we're getting healthier with these things, why, why not even bring it a step further? Why not um, bring in super intelligence and uh, uh, super strength and just improve our condition completely? Just step into the next stage of evolution. So there's a scenario, it's called the Grey Goose scenario, where these nanobots are self-replicating and they try to uh, replicate themselves using every bit of material in the earth. And... Uh, basically the earth would become a great big ball of gray goo so like i said nobody knows what's going to happen with this technology it's not a new idea um but it's it's coming closer and closer to being a reality it might not bring everything that it would that you could imagine um but it's going to bring around some pretty radical changes but you know to tell you the truth the human race has been confronted with revolutions in technology before and we haven't fallen apart yet, so I think we'll be okay. I think we'll use it for the better, but we just got to be careful with it. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the Nanobot episode. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm still in competition with my now my son and my daughter. 
Uh, so please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you can to help me beat my son. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, you guys. Don't forget to be awesome. The family here was just sitting in the uh, in the living room, and we hear a crash in the kitchen. And a mug, and we're not sure how it happened, looks like it just exploded. I mean, it, I mean, there's not much room in the cabinet. There's nowhere it could have fallen. There's no, like, empty space where it could have fallen down. It just looks like it exploded. It's all over the place. See? You can see some of the parts in there. Look. All the way, all the way over here. We have no idea how this happened. Nobody was in here. It didn't fall from anywhere. We're pretty sure it just exploded.